Hi, it's Cassie. I'm going to show you how to make this awesome grunge board, uh, 3D grunge board. It's super cool and I can't wait. I'm using the Ken Oliver watercolor board. Uh, it's super thick and really awesome to work on. I've covered it with white gesso from the Crafters Workshop and let it dry. And then I'm using some different pigment sprays from Lindy's and a little bit of water and I'm just going to move it all around and let it sort of mix together and get a nice organic look to it. I've got like a dirty green and a limey kind of green and turquoise and then there's this silver that I just put on that's like a stainless steel. It gives it that nice silver shimmer metal-y kind of look. It's very subtle but you can see it especially when um, I hold it up in the light. Okay, then um, I have this really amazing stencil from the Crafters Workshop that's got um, like a circuit board and different mechanical flying um, figures and it's I've been really wanting to use it so um, I'm putting some tacky when dry through that circuit board just to create a cool background and then later we're going to um, put some foil on those pl places. Tacky One Dry is really cool because you can put it through the stencil like this and have a shape and then you let it dry and then you put um, non-heat thermal um, foil over it and you've got and you can use it you know with foil and it's really fun. So then I've got some um, silver modeling paste there and I put the dragonfly onto clear acetate and you're going to see how we use that later. So there you can see I've added the foil uh, once that tacky when dry was dry. The biggest thing about this project is that you do have to be a little patient and let things dry in between layers uh, so that everything works out the way you like, um, but it's definitely worth it. So you could work on this and then maybe have another project on the side that you're working on as well while this one's drying. So I added some mini art stones just to give it some more grunge and texture and again I mix well I've mixed that with clear gesso put it on the board and then of course you have to let it dry and that one you really want to let it dry naturally uh, and just wait it out because you'll be a lot happier and the stones will stay in place a lot better if you do that so then once this, those stones were completely dry and in place on my board, then I went back over them with a couple of the colors of the pigment spray that I was using just to sort of blend them into the background and make them uh, more coherent with everything. And then a little bit of water to move it around so that it has a nice organic look and feel to it. And again, let that dry. Once it's completely dry and the um, that dragonfly is dry on the acetate, I've folded over the ends of this acetate maybe a quarter inch and put some really super sticky tape and then just folded those around the back of this board and there is my final board. The only thing I regret is not um, painting or coloring the edges of that board black. That would have really finished it nicely. I didn't think of it till after it was all put together. <laughs> so that would be one thing I would do different but um, otherwise I love this so 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 much. I love the detail and the grunge and the texture and the, the way the foil works with the dirty background and I love that this dragonfly has popped up off the background. Uh, really love this. You could do so many different things with this. It doesn't have to be grungy background either. You know you could do something springy, playful, summer, whatever you like. So I hope that you enjoyed this and found some inspiration. Um, if you did enjoy it please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell so you don't miss future videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.